Hello friends, it's Kathy Clement with Kathy by Design. I'm so glad you could join me here today. This is a Saturday showcase post for the Funky Junkie Boutique. Every Saturday on the Frilly and Funky Challenge blog, one of the designers shines a spotlight on a wonderful product or technique or tutorial. And it's my turn. And I decided I just had to share with you Graphic 45's glorious new Garden Goddess collection. Oh my goodness. This is the most beautiful collection, and I just had the best time playing with it. So today, I have this sweet little card folio. This is such a simple make. There is no tutorial, I'll tell you that at the beginning, but there is a tutorial for these mixed media tags that I made with the scraps that were left over after I finished making the album. So maybe we'll look at these first. These are made um, with chipboard pieces, little scraps of the designer paper, and um, gorgeous little birdie flowers, um, some metal charms, a little chipboard piece, custom dyed ribbon, and I used Tim Holtz's botanical 3D um, texture fade to create this wonderful mixed media background. And that's what the tutorial will be. I'll be showing you how to do, how I achieved this effect on the mixed media background. I also use some Seth Apter baked textures. So these are Graphic 45 long craft tags. This one I left long. This one I scored along the top edge to turn into a pocket. And then I used Tim Holtz's Pediments um, Bigs die to cut out this decorative top for the tag. So in the pocket, I've used a Graphic 45 ivory ATC tag and just created a little pocket on that tag and tucked in a little chocolate treat. Then I took this wonderful um, ticket sticker and topped it with a little snippet of um, string, some custom dyed seam binding ribbon and a charm that I got from the Funky Junky Boutique. And then on this is also a sticker that I've wrapped with twine. I added eyelets on the end, created a little handmade tassel and this is just tucked in here. So this is a super sweet little gift. This would be a great little hostess gift during the holidays. This gorgeous butterfly is from the Funky Junkie Boutique and I altered it with Distress Paints and Seth Apter Ancient Amber Baked Texture and I love the way it turned out. And this is the same, these are those, remember when Tim Holtz had all the little um, foliage, metal foliage pieces and flowers. That is what I did here. I painted with distress paints and then altered it with the ancient amber baked texture. So these were just quick simple little makes um, using my scraps and that's what the tutorial will be at the end of this little share. But this is the project share and this is one of my card folios. This is a simple seven by five with a half inch spine and I make these by joining two panels of five inch by eight and a half inch paper together and then joining it with score tape and I a long piece of paper that I can then score and turn into a five by seven card. This one I just flipped on the side for fun. So lots of distressed edges, lots of machine stitching. I don't know if you can pick that up. Lots of layering, a little bit of canvas back behind my focal image, um, which is from the 12 by 12 collection. Some fussy cutting. The women in this collection are gorgeous. They're very Art Nouveau and really fun. Little birdie flowers and foliage, a vintage button from my stash, gold metallic string, and custom bind seam binding ribbon. And then I use this piece of ribbon to use as a closure for the album. Oh, and look at this bumblebee charm. How perfect is he? And you can get these in the Funky Junkie Boutique. I just love them. So this just opens out. It's a simple folio. There are no extra pages. And on the left-hand side, I've created this magnetic um, closure for a waterfall and each page in the waterfall measures if I'm yeah four and a quarter by four and three quarters so you can get pretty good sized pictures in here but I wanted you to get an idea of the gorgeous patterns and images in this collection it is truly wonderful for anyone who loves to garden it's just a dream come true and then back behind the six panel waterfall, I created, I used one of the tags and pockets to create a little flap. 
and then this lifts up and here is one of the large four by six images from the cut apart page and in its insert that I made also with cut aparts and patterned paper that just tucks back here in the pocket. So you could add quite a good number of photos into this album and it would be a great way to record a birthday party or a bridal shower or um, just any special event. Then over here on the right, I created a simple pocket, lined it with a border from the collection. There's more of that gorgeous paper. And then I also created this um, four and an eighth by six and an eighth folio. And this has also a magnetic closure and beautiful quotes in this collection. It is so sweet. And this opens out like this. And then here is another one of those fun inserts, room for journaling, room for photos. You could add, um, then this opens out yet again, and on the back there's room for more photos and a little flap page for even a small photo. So I love to do, I love making these little interactive folios to tuck in. So that is my project. Now hang around and I will show you how to do the mixed media background for these gorgeous tags. You can find the complete Garden Goddess collection at the Funky Junkie Boutique. And if you'd like to purchase any of these items, you'll find them in my Etsy shop, Kathy by Design. Thank you so much for joining me. I won't be talking anymore, but you'll be able to follow the tutorial. And I hope you have a joyful and creative weekend. Go get your craft on. Bye.